Welcome back everybody. Today we've got the 4720 back in action, hooking up the land plane, gonna do some grading on the driveway. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Bohr Wheel Spacers. Yeah, that's these guys right here. Made in America, lifetime warranty on them, aluminum or steel wheel spacers. You can widen your footprint, get some more stability, check them out. And if you found this video to be helpful, maybe entertaining, go ahead, hit that like button down below, subscribe to see more tractor videos. And if you want something for your tractor, maybe a land plane or something for the front end loader, check out goodworkstractors.com. Okay, so we're working with an 84 inch land plane. This is Dirt Dog, again, Chris, Cue it up, made in America. We love them down in Georgia, have their whole lineup uh, that we're carrying now. So we're pulling this behind the John Deere 4720. Yes, it's back finally out of the shop. Feel like it's been an eternity since we've seen it. So we're gonna use it today. I'm really excited to get to that. For those of you that aren't aware, we are working on about an 1800 foot, 1900 foot driveway here at the new property. Uh, we've had, I think around, what is it, 600 tons of 22A gravel drop so far, and we're doing this kind of like a homeowner would do. This is not a contractor type of installation. You know, we're doing this in our free time. I'm out here kind of chipping away at it as I get free time. The gravel company dropped a ton of additional that's kind of funny. They dropped a lot of additional gravel on about half the driveway back here. We kind of went by layers. So we put a thin layer down about two inches. They added another layer and we're just, you know, kind of repeat the process. So they have been able to tailgate, which means that as they're tilting their dump uh, bed up, they can drive forward and it really makes the process a lot easier. I don't have to do nearly as much spreading, but I've been using the skid steer with the bucket to kind of knock down small humps or piles and fill in dips and then uh, kind of back drag over it with the bucket. But I'm thinking this is gonna be a lot more efficient. We're gonna give it a shot and see how it does. A land plane is gonna be different than a box blade. It's not gonna have very tall uh, sides all around it. You're gonna have a row of two blades and they're sitting about six, eight inches high somewhere in there. And as gravel and dirt and rock fills up in front of that blade, when it starts to gradually spill over, it's only this much material that's trapped. And so it's, it's skimming off the top, um, taking the little humps out, filling the depressions, the blades are slanted, they're angled, so one side is deeper than the other, so it's gonna slowly move material from left to right in this case, and so that's gonna give me a certain path that I go around because you wanna put a hump in the middle of your driveway so that drainage and the rain falls off to each side and slopes down. So between the angle of these blades, and I'm also going to adjust the side link on my tractor to kinda angle it a little bit or pitch it this way as well, we're really gonna try to crown that driveway in the middle there and. I don't think we're done with gravel yet. We're gonna have to keep on doing this. You know, again, we're, we're hitting it when we can, chunk by chunk. It's an evolution, it's a process, but it's to be more relatable to you guys. This is not a contractor going out there. I'm not hiring this out. I'm using my own equipment to get this done. And it's something that you guys would go through as well. So for this application, we are not gonna need these ripper shanks or scarifiers. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and take them out or flip them around and put them upside down for heavy, aggressive resurfacing. This is when you'd want to use these shanks, but for our new driveway here, that's not going to be necessary.
You may notice how clean and organized the hoses do look on the back side for the top and the tilt. And that's going to be due to that red and black wrap you see on there. It's actually called Outback Wrap and you can just bundle all of your hoses together. They also make hose markers so that you can identify them, color code them to different colors so you know the right outlet they're going into. This is a company I partner with, I advertise for them. If you go and purchase from OutbackWrap.com, you use code GWT and you save 10% off of your order. Okay, well that is an absolute blast. I love using a land plane. I just think it's so much fun. It takes 
a rough, bumpy, uneven surface, and you just essentially drop it down and go. The top and tilt, it does make it just the cat's meow because you can control all the pitch and the angle and everything from the operator station too. But if you're looking for a tool to make quick work of resurfacing your lane, then I really think a land plane, land leveler, grader, box, this is called a lot of different things, this is the way to go. Now there's no doubt we need more gravel out here in particular in this corner, we wanted to widen it up uh, just because, you know, with trucks and trailers making a, a wide turn, want to have extra space. And we dug this area, this entire turn out quite a bit, both uh, wide and deep. It, even though it's really high here, it seemed to want to hold water. So we want to get a lot of that muck and everything out of there as we could, but it's going to require more material. You can see it's definitely, it's almost dipping in here too, even though I was trying to pull material towards the middle pretty significantly. It just needs more stone. We probably got to add another four or five lows, you know, on this entire turn here just to build it up and get it crowned nicely. There's a couple other areas, one down by the culvert and then um, a little bit further up towards the entrance too that we need to add some material. We need to get this compacted and the dump trucks are doing a pretty good job um, at the end of most days when they're done dumping loads. He'll drive back and forth, up and down, which he doesn't have to do, but I appreciate that he does it uh, just to help pack it in a little bit there. And some of it will happen with time. I'm debating whether or not to get an actual compactor, a roller to um, roll it in as well. One other note that a lot of you guys have mentioned is using the Geotech fabric, and I was going to put that down before the 22A. However, talking to some contractors around here, and I like their suggestion, so I took it, was to put the 22A down now, let all the construction process happen, building the house and whatnot, and then come back in, put your Geotech down after you kind of do a final grade, drop Geotech, and then put 21AA on top of it, and that should be a final last forever driveway with simple maintenance. Alrighty guys, well that's a wrap for us today. If you're interested, check out OutbackWrap.com. Again, use code GWT, you save 10% off of your order. If you did enjoy watching us grade out the driveway today, make sure you hit that like button below, subscribe to see more tractor videos, and if you want something like this land leveler for your machine, make sure you check out GoodWorksTractors.com. Hey, thanks again for taking the time to stop by, and until next time, stay safe, we'll see you soon.